The universe is a deadly, dangerous place and is filled with nightmarish objects that would cook our poor, insignificant planet in the blink of an eye. From our vantage point here on Earth, it certainly seems like Earth is the one place where things seem relatively calm. To quote Howard Phillips Lovecraft, we live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. We've already talked about objects like Wasp-12b, Trappist-1, Rogue Planets, and a literal shooting star in the previous iteration of this list, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. We've got so many more horrors for you. Here are 10 of the most terrifying places in the known universe. Number 10. Terminating Tinkerbell What was originally thought to be the collision between a spiral bar and an irregular galaxy has shocked astronomers with a third finding, another irregular galaxy of massive size at the head of this intense collision. All of these galaxies are in the middle of an extremely violent process of colliding and merging. Events like this, especially one where we can directly observe three galaxies merging together, are extremely rare, but what makes this a terrifying object is the violent activity happening in the head galaxy as well as certain parts of the body and terminating wings. Stars are exploding into existence all throughout the galaxy at an alarmingly fast rate of 200 solar masses per year. We don't really know much about the mechanics and conditions of supermassive black hole mergers like this, but models show that such events can lead towards the formation of a quasar, where massive relativistic jets of material get hurtled through space at insane speeds approaching 10% the speed of light. While it's unlikely that any of the stars in the system will have collided, these types of mergers cause galaxies to prematurely age due to the immense amount of material that gets converted into new stars. At the end of this merger, sadly, all of the younger stars in the galaxy will likely go supernova, leaving only red stars with a much longer lifespan. It's also possible that gravitational disturbances caused by the merger will cause many stars to be launched from the triple galaxy system into the depths of space. This is definitely not a galaxy you'll want to call home. Number 9. Venus While Venus may not be the closest planet to the Sun, it's certainly the one with the hottest surface. Thanks to a combination of active volcanoes and a suffocating carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, temperatures can reach an absolutely hellish 471 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt lead. If the scorching temperatures and putrid yellow-green sky don't deter you, perhaps the roaming clouds of sulfuric acid and pressures exceeding 90% greater than the surface of the Earth might. Yes, those pressures are similar to 600 meters below the ocean on Earth, which is enough to cause most craft that dare to descend to the surface to implode. Suffice it to say, a human on the surface wouldn't last very long without equipment that would, when compared to our current technology, look like some sort of wizard space magic. Number 8. Korot 7b Korot 7b is five times more massive than the Earth, belonging to the category of planets known as super-Earths, and it's thought that it was once a gas giant before it had most of its gas is stripped from its surface. It takes just 20.4 hours for that planet to orbit its star, meaning that if it was indeed a gas giant, it would have been a scorching hot Jupiter. If you were to stand on this world's surface, its host star would appear at least 360 times larger than our sun does here on Earth, meaning it would absolutely dominate the sky. The exoplanet is also tidally locked thanks to its close proximity to its star. The daylight side reaches temperatures exceeding 1,982 Celsius, which is approaching half the temperature of our sun. But if the temperatures and star-dominated sky don't terrify you, then the fact that it rains rocks should. Number 7. Kepler 10b Orbiting a star remarkably similar to ours between the constellations Cygnus and Lyra, Kepler 10b is odd in that while it's only 1.4 times the diameter of Earth, it's nearly 4.5 times as massive. It orbits Kepler 10 20% closer than Mercury orbits our sun and takes less than one Earth day to complete one revolution. Temperatures reach a scorching 1,000 371 degrees Celsius, but the most terrifying thing about Kepler 10b is that the Kepler Astro Seismic Science Consortium detected high frequency variations in the star's brightness caused by stellar oscillations, or in other words, starquakes. Planets that orbit their host stars at such an extreme distance are subject to intense tidal forces that can cause all kinds of geological activity on a level greater than the moons around Jupiter and Saturn. Suffice it to say that you would not survive long on the surface of Kepler 10b. Number 6. Magnetars Neutron stars are the remnants left over from a supernova event. After a star four to eight times the mass of our own explodes, the core it leaves behind then collapses under its own gravity, creating what amounts 
comes to a super dense corpse of a star. These things exhibit some pretty extreme properties that would make living around one just impossible. To list a few examples, they have extremely powerful magnetic fields, a neutron dense soup like surface with a structure that is most often compared to lasagna, and a maddeningly fast rotational speed, completing hundreds of rotations every second. And all of that in a radius no larger than 20 kilometers. While neutron stars might be worthy of their own entry on this list, there is one object they're related to that definitely supersedes them in terms of sheer terrifying power. As if the properties of a neutron star weren't metal enough, every once in a while two neutron stars end up revolving around one another and smashing together, creating a kilonova, one of the brightest and most energetic types of explosions in the universe. Sometimes when a collision occurs, a magnetar is created from the combination of the two neutron stars. These objects are absolutely terrifying. They exhibit magnetic fields so powerful that if you were to get too close to one within a thousand kilometers, not only would your normal bioelectricity cease to function, the bonds between your molecules would basically come undone, like getting snapped out of existence by Thanos. Number 5. SDSS J13524637 423923.5 Quasar With relativistic jets traveling at a record-splitting 13% of the speed of light, this quasar, its name I'm not going to repeat, is the most powerful quasar ever detected. Let's just call it SD for short. At the center of this unfortunate galaxy is an extremely active supermassive black with a mass 2,000 times greater than the one that sits at the center of our Milky Way. The terrifying thing about the SD quasar is the sheer amount of mass that's been detected in its jets. It's essentially consuming all of the fuel and mass in the galaxy, a property scientists have known some supermassive black holes could be capable of. In fact, the winds generated by these relativistic jets is so powerful that scientists are left scratching their heads as to what could be causing it. Our own supermassive black hole has been active in the past, forming the Fermi bubbles that stretch far above and below the galaxy, as mentioned in our list about 10 more amazing facts about black holes, though our Sagittarius A has never threatened the existence of life on Earth. But if Earth were unfortunate enough to be located in this quasar, it would certainly be doomed as the forces of the quasar would eventually consume the entire galaxy. Number 4. Thorn Zitko Objects These things were originally thought to be merely hypothetical objects. That was at least until one was discovered. A Thorn Zitko object is essentially a star within a star that's created when a red supergiant consumes a neutron star. If the thought of something like this doesn't terrify you, well, wait until you hear what these objects are actually like. The neutron star would be surrounded by a ring of superheated gases, the remains of the red supergiant, generating unusual amounts of rubidium. If neutron stars and magnetars on their own exhibit terrifying properties, then how about adding a massive ring of red supergiant material circling around it? Of the unusual properties these thorn Zitko objects possess, by far the most deadly would be the strange nuclear fusion properties from the red supergiant's material constantly falling into the neutron star, as they're thought to cause bursts of x-rays to flood through the space surrounding the star. Of the candidates for TZOs, HV2112, an unusually bright supergiant, is probably the most likely candidate, though they can also appear like the Wolf Red Star as well. Given the terrifying power of neutron stars and magnetars, it should come as no surprise to you that you would not want to be anywhere near one. Number 3. Supermassive Black Hole Collisions In galaxies where two supermassive black holes are in the process of colliding, it's far more likely that these black holes will feed on the stars that surround them. In our our galaxy, something like this might happen every 10,000 to 100,000 years, but during a merger this could increase to once every 10 to 100 years. These collisions generate massive tidal disruptions and wreak havoc on everything that orbits them, creating an extremely unstable environment for any star or planet that happens to be unlucky enough to orbit too close. As established earlier, these flares can have devastating effects that have the potential to extinguish life on nearby exoplanets. But in addition to these effects, collisions like this also generate massive gravitational waves that can be felt throughout most of the known universe. Number 2. Anywhere near a kilonova Kilonovae are some of the most powerful explosions in the universe, just under the destructive force that can be caused by a supernova, and they're caused by two neutron stars colliding. In the moments leading up to the explosion, the neutron star pair will orbit each other at an alarmingly fast rate before finally smashing into each other and causing a devastating explosion. The collision creates an ultra-bright explosion in space that emits X-rays, gamma rays, and produces 
produces gravitational waves. These explosions will cook pretty much anything that happens to be in line of sight of either of the neutron star's poles. In some rare cases, this can lead to the formation of magnetars and even black holes. While an explosion like this was thought to have seeded the forming solar system with gold and other precious metals billions of years ago, if one were to happen anywhere within a thousand light years of our solar system, we'd be kissing our collective butts goodbye. Number one. The Black Widow Pulsar. The Black Widow Pulsar is a nebula where new stars are being formed, creating powerful stellar winds. These stellar winds generate extremely high levels of radiation and strong particle winds. Like a bad omen from a distance, these bubbles of newborn stars take on the shape of a spider. Pulsars are extremely compact objects, most of them no bigger than a large city. These super dense objects contain more mass than our sun, and though they may look like blinking stars from our vantage point on the Earth, they're not stars at all, but a special type of neutron star that spins on its axis at an insane rate. These nightmare objects radiate two steady beams of light from their surfaces. They spin at an alarmingly fast rate of over 600 times per second, like lighthouses on steroids. As if that wasn't bad enough, these beams of light emit gamma rays that would, needless to say, cook all life on Earth if it happened to be unlucky enough to be near one of these nightmarish lighthouses of death. And so I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, do consider subscribing to Eric Malachite's new channel, Science Get. Eric wrote the script for today's video, and I'm going to link to his channel below.